Brenda, but uh, Theo got away. Is she okay? No, he gave her some kind of toxin. She couldn't breathe very well. I don't, I don't know how she's doing. But that's some way I came here. Okay. I came to tell you, scared the hell out of me. Why? Because if it was you lying in that hospital bed, I think I would lose my mind. Excuse me? Uh, can you tell me what room Brenda Barrett's in? It might be under current, though. She just got married. Are you family? She's my stepmother. Um, 1002. Oh, yeah. Okay. You go. I'll wait here. You sure? Yeah. Your dad needs you. I don't want to intrude. Okay. okay. If you really care about Michael, prove it. Get out of his life. I know this is a lot, but you're going to get better and soon you're going to be home with your husband. So wake up, okay? This is Corinthos. You gotta listen to your best friend because she knows what she's talking about. Um, I guarantee you we're going to have everything we ever wanted. I know we will. Listen to what I have to say, okay? Theo, there is no corner for Theo to hide. I'm gonna do whatever it is I need to do, whether it's calling favors, sell my soul, but I will make one guarantee to you. Theo Hoffman will be dead for what he did to Brenda. As soon as I heard, having you and Christina here means a lot to me. You know, Brenda's, she needs people that she loves around to help pull through this. I heard you talking on the phone about finding Theo. Look, I can help. I don't I want you involved in anything that I was talking about. It's absolutely wrong. Dad, you don't have to protect me. I can help. You want to help you make a life for yourself outside of this business? Away from the... <sighs> Listen to me. Away from the violence, away from the madness. You make yourself a better man than I am. You get me? That way you never have to worry about anybody that you love being taken away from you. So funny here is I stopped Jason from killing Theo. I want justice, but not like that. I mean, a, a bullet is too good for him. A guy like that should rot in prison for the rest of his life for what he did to Brenda and Sam. You were doing your job. I've been blurring the lines for months and years, starting with Alexander's killer. Well, you were trying to protect Brenda. If it means anything, I forgive you. It means everything. I hope that you're not staying away from the hospital because you think that I have a problem with it. No, no, I just, I don't belong there. I belong here with you. I've been an ass. And you'd every reason to tell me I'm lying. I'm just grateful you found a way to forgive me. I love you. Uh, I can't lose you. Oh, hey, sweetheart. I know somewhere you can hear what I'm saying. I know it. I heard Edward talking about our wedding. How happy you looked and how beautiful your dress was. And I gotta say, it took my breath away. I know we had a lot of missteps. Missteps over the years and I... 
And I gotta say, I wouldn't change a thing as far as how we got here, because I know it made us stronger. You made my life better being in it. I know in the beginning my priorities were all screwed up because I was running the Paradise Lounge and I had not one family or wife or anything. And... and then you came into my life and you, and you, you changed it. You taught me how to love and you, you taught me what it meant to be loved. I gotta tell you, that, 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 that bomb really, really devastated me. It, uh, everything just went dark. And I gotta tell you, okay, my world means nothing without you. Leave me, sweetie. I guess the doctors expect a full recovery. Wow. So we got a lot of awesome family get-togethers to look forward to. What do you mean? My son is going to go after Theo. And I want to keep my badge, so uh, I got to treat Sonny like any other criminal. Oh, so m it makes having a meaningful relationship with your father pretty complicated. Uh, it's always been complicated with me and Sonny. I expect that, but I, what I didn't expect was it to make things hard for us. I, I shouldn't have kept you in the dark about any of that stuff and could have saved us a lot of heartache. True, but think of all the makeup sex we would have missed out on. Makeup sex? Some good news for a change, huh? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It was strange. Like an hour ago, the doctor was talking like we should start making funeral arrangements. Mm -hmm. oh, she's fine. I know. It couldn't have ended better. So why don't you seem happier? It kind of goes back to what we were talking about over dinner. Yeah. People still treat me like I'm a kid. My dad is on the top of that list. My whole life, my dad and Jason have told me that I can be anything, I can do anything. What they meant... It's anything not involving the business. Well, can you blame them? I mean, you already went to prison. They don't want you going back. Yeah, but I grew up in this world. I, I know the risks, probably better than Jason did when he started. I just, I just want a chance. Okay, and what if your dad says no? Well, then I have to prove doing what I can do on my own. Nothing. Well, Brenda's off the ventilator and she's breathing on her own. I did a preliminary exam, and she doesn't seem to be suffering any deficits from the toxin that was injected into her. I'm going to keep a close eye on her, but it looks like she's going to make a full recovery. I don't know how to thank you. My pleasure. I'm going to take this. Oh, man. Well, whatever you said to her made her wake up. She knows how much you love her, Sonny. That's what got her through this. Well, she had a lot of people loving her and supporting her, you know, and I thank you for believing in her. Of course. She's okay now. She's only going to continue to get better, so please, please let that be enough. Don't go looking for revenge. 